Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is May the 4th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord this morning. I'd like to remind you all that this word today, just as the other words having been shared, is a letter to the body of Christ, encouraging us to continue to put our hope in the Lord Jesus Christ, to look to Him, to keep our eyes on Him, to be watchful and tentative to the things the Lord is sharing with His people in this day. If you have been following this channel for some time, you know the Lord has been speaking of end-time events and the preparation for the greatest event that will take place, and that is the Lord's return. Of course, we do not know the day or the hour, but it is important to consider the fact that this event is soon coming. In this word today, the Lord is addressing this event. This word is titled, The Gathering Up of God's Elect. I hope it will bless you as you hear it today. I'll begin by reading scripture. Matthew 24, 30, verse 31. At that time the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky, and all the nations of the earth will mourn. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory, and he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other. This scripture passage in the book of Matthew speaks of the event of the Lord's return and the gathering up of his elect. I'll begin reading this word. This is the day and this is the hour of homecoming, says the Lord. I am calling my people home. They have wandered in a dry and desert place. They have wandered far and wide. They have been as the prodigal son who squandered his wealth on the riches of this world. But in this day I am calling them home. The father is waiting at the door to welcome them back. He has a ring for their finger and a robe to clothe them. A great feast has been prepared to celebrate their return. This is the day and the hour, says the Lord, of the greatest homecoming the world has ever experienced. Multitudes are coming into my household. Multitudes are turning from their wayward living to seek the living God. Multitudes have decided that the food for swine does not satisfy the thirsty soul. The Father's heart has been broken for these and has longed for this hour. The Father has wept continually for the lost sheep, and in this day and hour they are hearing his voice, for the Spirit is calling them in from the east and the west and the north and the south, and they are coming in droves into the household of God. Be ready, my people, to usher them in one by one, for they are about to come streaming in. Make room for the flood of souls that is about to come in. The nets are full and the catch is great, and they are about to be emptied into the places that I have raised up to accommodate them. Open your eyes and you will see them coming in one by one, at first like a trickle, but the nets will break and they will come pouring in, 
Watch and you will see and marvel at this thing that takes place in your midst. Take heart, my people. Watch and wait. Do not be anxious for anything, but in all your ways acknowledge the Lord, and he will make your paths straight. There is a sound coming from heaven. It is the sound of heavy rain and the hoofbeat of horses. A trampling of the nations is taking place, and the grain is on the threshing floor, being flailed and beaten. Let the waters pour over you, my beloved. Let the chaff be removed from your life. Let those things that are an offense to me be trampled underfoot, for soon it will be a new day, and the day will dawn when the winds will cease to blow and the income of the harvest will fill the barns. Do not slumber, do not sleep, for in this hour the tide is turning. The old is rapidly falling away, and a new and fresh wind is blowing over the land. The trees are swaying in the breeze as a freshness and vitality is being released into the earth. With every breath, new life is being inhaled into my people. They are entering into life. Their countenance is changing. The old is being stripped away, and a newness and radiance is coming forth. For I am taking my people into holiness, into the deep waters of my spirit, and they shall be changed. They shall enter into my presence by the way of the cross. They shall come through affliction and triumph, for they shall be purged by my spirit and taken up into everlasting life. In this hour, the old is passing away, and the new is coming into place. My people shall be snatched up out of the times of trouble that are poured out upon the earth. They shall be snatched up and changed in the twinkling of an eye. They shall enter into my presence to sup with me at my banqueting table, says the Lord. I am about to pour my spirit out upon the earth in portions never seen. Every knee shall bow before the King of kings and Lord of lords. Angels are being released into the earth, and great signs and wonders will be seen by all. No one will be exempt. All men shall see me coming on the clouds. All shall marvel at this sight. This is the culmination of the age, and all things shall come to pass just as they are written. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. He who has ears, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall make your paths straight. In this word today, the Lord is speaking of a homecoming, of a gathering in of his elect. He is telling us, to keep our eyes open, not to be sleeping or slumbering, but to be made aware that the time of his return is very soon. The Lord is speaking about the old passing away and about newness coming, that he is bringing us through the trials and the affliction as he purges us and makes us holy and ready for his return. He is referring in this word today to the rapture. The Lord is telling us that the tide is turning, that angels are being released into the earth, that signs and wonders will be seen by all, and 
that the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky, that Jesus will come on the clouds with power and with great glory, and every eye will see him. We don't know the exact time of this event, but the Lord is encouraging us to recognize the times that we are living in and to be ready for this great homecoming of God's elect. My prayer today is that we will think on these things. We will consider the soon coming return of our Lord Jesus Christ, that we will not slumber or sleep, but that we will watch the signs of the times and anticipate the fulfillment of this greatest event spoken of in the scriptures. Let us cling to the hope of his coming and let's be ready to be gathered up with our Lord. Thank you for listening today. Have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all in Jesus' name. Bye for now.